This is making a helmet from scratch. Let's go. A lot of people think all helmets are alike. So for this episode of Unit 1 Labs, we came all the way to our factory in Zhenzhen, China, and proved them wrong. Let's go find out. The helmet and the electronics are made separately, and then they come together. Let's start with the helmet. So right here we have the sheets. These sheets right here will become the shell. Here they'll get painted in the color of the actual helmet. So this is the vacuum forming process, where these flat sheets we saw before get shaped into actual shells. How this happens is the sheet is heated up. When it's nice and hot, the tools come up from below and give it shape. So out comes the sheet. And now these would be individually cut for the next step. So we managed to make our way into the tool room. Now, all the tools you saw before get stored in here. This is actually one of ours. This is the, the backside of Sparky. Can you tell? All these hunks of metal are used to give shape to the shells, as you saw in the vacuum forming machine. So we brought a bunch of these untrimmed shells from the last step. What happens now is pretty awesome. So they get installed into these fixtures, and this is a five axis robot that is gonna cut the edges to perfection every single time. So when the trimming is complete, the shell is taken out of the fixture, shot with a little bit of air, thank you. And there you have it, a top shell for Neon, ready for the next step. So this is the messiest, loudest part of the process where EPS beats, this right here, get injected into an EPS shell. So we use steam to superheat the EPS and melt it. And then this whole thing closes and we inject the molten EPS into these molds right over there. After this is done, they open back up and the shells are left to cool. As you can see, there's two shells over there as we speak. Once injected, the helmets get their water decals applied right here. Now this happens by hand, it's very precise. And once applied, we put them up here to dry. Once the helmet gets their water decals in, they go through this line to get their matte finish. This is what gives them that sleek, beautiful finish that we all love. And with that, let's go to the electronics side. So for this one, we gotta wear the anti-static electricity coat. Whatever this thing is. Let's go. So our electronics are born right here from these huge printers. Only instead of ink, these printers carry these large cartridges with all sorts of electrical components. So diodes, capacitors, transistors, and that is the ink in this clip. So here we see the cartridges feeding components into the pick and place machine, which at the speed of light will pick up and place components onto the board one by one. With all the components in place, the boards go through this long oven to weld everything into position, and then into this machine, which is essentially optical quality control. This is a high-speed camera that will take a million different photos of every single component for optical inspection to make sure that everything is in place. This is the electronics assembly area where all the boards get assembled into the lights we later put into our helmets. So this happens step by step as boards, lights, and batteries get joined together. Testing for our electronics is thorough. We test for durability. In this case, there's a USB cable going into one of our chargers 2,600 times and it's gonna go all the way up to 10,000. We also test for electrical interference, some high powered optical checks with a microscope, which is pretty cool. Waterproofing right here. 
tests for extreme weather conditions. And finally, light capacity tests. This is a luxometer, so you close the lid, you measure and you take a peek. Every single one of our batteries we test here, where we put them through five full cycles to make sure they're stable. So when all it's done, this fully assembled, fully tested light will make its way into a helmet. And that happens in the final step, where helmet and electronics come together. So this is the final step, the assembly line, where an almost finished helmet comes in. So water decals and matte finish. You got a bunch of them here. And all the stuff gets put in there. So fitting system, straps, padding, MIPS liner, electronics, and tags until you get the finished product. In this case, a neon smart helmet fresh out of the oven. There you have it. So this is not technically part of the production process, but we wanted to stop here to show you this because it's a big deal. This here is the impact safety certification facility. Essentially, it's where we test our helmets for safety. So how this works is we tie our helmets up to this machine and then we yank them up all the way up there and then we drop them against these, these steel anvils. So inside that fake head lie a ton of accelerometers and sensors. What they do is they measure acceleration in the head during the impact. Now we plug in all those numbers into a computer and that will tell us how safe the helmet is and if it's doing its job and how well it's doing it. So there you have it. That's what goes into making a best-in-class smart helmet. Catch you on the next one.